Hey there, it's Steve from Steve K's Vaping World, and I wrote an article recently um, about the Slim Nova from Smoke Tech, and in there I said it kind of sucked until I replaced the um, wick with cotton, so I wanted to take this opportunity to kind of expand on that um, and how to replace the stock silicone here with cotton gauze right after this. Okay, this is a fairly simple procedure, but you know it's kind of hard to explain in the midst of another review written. Um, basically, you have the innards here of a, a VV Nova. Um, first step, so you take off the gasket here, and then it depends on what kind of Nova you have. Some of them are going to have a single braided wick. This one has um, individual wicks to make it a little easier for this experiment. Um, if they're braided, just uncoil them a little bit because what you want to do first is start um, grabbing individual wicks. This is one of these weird ones that just had that wick laying on top. Um, so what you do is just kind of gently start tugging on these guys um, and they'll pull out pretty easily. If it's a used head, you might have some problems um, if there's a bunch of gunk kind of you know, burnt on there. You might need to dry burn it for a minute or two to sort of burn some of that off but you should be able to pull a little firm not too hard and if you find yourself tugging at it um, probably a little too much um, you might end up pulling it out pulling the coil out I mean sorry at the end you have you know basically your heating coil in here with uh, no wicks so one thing you might want to do after you get those wicks off is um, just do a dry burn um, but particularly if it's a used head you can just do a quick dry burn. Um, it's a lot easier to do without the wicks because it just takes a second to heat those coils up. And you're not really going to be able to see this well. Whoops. But you know, you just hit it here. And see, boom, heats up right away. Um, so just hit it a couple times to burn that stuff off. By the way, sneak peek um, in a kin, uh, uh, I taste SVD, which I'll be reviewing soon, I promise. Okay, now for the transplant. Um, so we're going to basically use just medical cotton gauze. Uh, one thing to say here is I have no idea if there's any kind of horrible side effects from this. Um, so, you know, do this at your own risk. This is just what I do, but I'm kind of an idiot. So if you want to listen to me, great, but it's not my fault if something really horrible goes on here. So what you want to do, help if I have my scissors, um, this is tubular gauze. Um, it's just because this is what I had left over from my, an injury I had. Um, so I guess it doesn't particularly matter. It's a nice tight weave. So you just kind of cut. The way this works is, you know, the more you cut this way, it'll be your thickness. But if you use a square gauze, anyway, you can play with it a little bit. Gauze is, is cheap as chips, uh, so it doesn't really matter. So. You cut, 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 and uh, through a little cooking show magic, I already have some gauze that I cut. Look at that. Um, in this case, I also kind of rolled it up a little bit. So you get a length. Uh, it's going to be a, long, a little bit longer than what you need to play with. So what you do then is you wet the end and twist it up. Basically, the idea is if you look in here, and we'll cut to a um, macro shot so real quick. You can see the top there, that line, that's the coil. So essentially, this whole process is going to be a lot like threading a needle. Oh, uh, look at that. I got it on the first shot. I bet you blinked and missed it. Okay, when you get that little bit of uh, wick end to stick through, you, uh... so you want to pull it through so the thickest parts are kind of there. And then you can, what I do actually is I just pull it most of the way through. So the thicker part on the left there, you can add a little extra if you want to hang out in the tank. So you snip it there. Ah, my scissors are getting dull from cutting too many of these things. 
And that's about it. Just, um, you know, put it back in the tank, fill it up, let it sit for a minute, and it's good to go. A um, couple things to note. When you get it in here, you kind of saw how it's pulling it through. You want it to be, you don't want it to be totally tight. So what's going to happen is when it gets wet, it's going to expand some. And part of the problem with dry burns and a lot of these things is the coils are wrapped too tightly around the wicks. So you want it a little loose, obviously not too loose, or else it you know, won't really work either because it has to make contact with the coils. And the other thing to notice is the cotton will degrade uh, much faster than silicone. Silicone pretty much takes forever to degrade if it does at all. So, you know, you'll be swapping these out more frequently, but the gauze is cheap. Um, and obviously, you know, there's a performance gain since it kind of resurrected a completely lousy cardos. Or, and um, in general, it's better. I find I can, you know, run these a little hotter. Um, and as long as you keep them wet, you don't really have to worry about the cotton burning. Uh, good flavor too. Some people also like to boil their gauze first. I don't. You know, you live in life on the edge, I guess. Um, now I'm lazy. That's about it. So then you just, you know, put it back together. <laughs> Did all that, but I can't even do that. You put it, just put it back together, fill it up, and off you go. All right. Until next time, everybody. This is Steve from Steve K's Vaping World. Signing off.